Welcome back to Newegg TV. I'm Kerry Holzman, and today we're looking at Lenovo's brand new Idea Center Y900 gaming desktop. And joining us from Lenovo today to tell us all about it is Eric. Glad to be here. Super excited to talk about it. We have some dedicated graphics in there. We have dual hard drives. We're hitting that DDR4 memory. This is really going to shake gamers up. Now, Eric, we all know Lenovo has a wide range of desktops available, but what makes this a gaming desktop? Glad you asked. Dedicated graphics from the beginning. Got to have that. Dual hard drive. Got to have that. DDR4 memory. Taking it to the next level. We want gamers to know we're serious about this, and it's really going to be a home run rig. You build computers, right? Yes. And you use tools, right? Got to use tools. All right. So what we added, because we all know how frustrating it is, you know, you get new memory, you want to put it in. Tool-free expandability. Slide this little lever over. Push down the back button, hold side panel, pops right on off. So you're saying I can completely disassemble the system without any tools? Okay, okay. We all know motherboards are screwed in by screws and everything, all right? So let's not get too picky on it. Okay. But the concept of it is that you're able to easily slide off your panel. You, gotta, you want to seal to it out, clean it. You don't have to worry about unscrewing the back screws of most cases. So in other words, uh, things like uh, upgrading the video card, very easy, upgrading or adding Correct. hard drives, all that you can do without a screwdriver. Now, before we started filming, I had an opportunity to play with the system a little bit, and I did verify that inside of the computer, the components are all industry standard modular components. None of the proprietary stuff that we're accustomed to on a lot of pre-built gaming machines. Correct. So, message to Lenovo, thank you. So basically you have, from what I'm seeing, the benefit of building your own computer without having to build it. And we put a lot of thought and design into that. And that's why with it comes to the specs, we wanted to make sure that the gamers, when they do buy this rig, they're gonna have a great powerhouse machine. And down the road, five to six years, if they feel, you know what? Games are always changing. Let's make sure that this tower can change with them. You know, gamers are also particular, quite often, about the looks of their gaming case. Yes. I, I see a lot of them that are just way <laughs> over the top. Correct. And I like that this one lets you know that it's more than just a standard computer, but it's not as gaudy as some of the other ones I've seen. But I understand there's more to it than just the looks. Correct. We actually put a lot of thought and in innovation in the design of this case. We wanted to make sure that it had great design, you know, with the nice Y-series function of the red in the front, on the top emblem. As a gamer, you always want the functionality of a good case. We have back fan, we have front fan. The side panel has ventilation on the side right by the GPU. You know, those are all important things we wanted to make sure. Um, cooling is an important part of the gaming industry. We have dust air filters on the bottom under the power supply. We have another dust filter in the front covering the front fans. I mean, we wanted to make it aesthetically pleasing, but we wanted to keep the functionality. You know, one of the things that I noticed when I was moving the computer earlier is that it's a bit heavier than it looks. And in my line of work, that generally equates to quality. In other words, uh, a heavy power supply, in general, is a better quality than, say, Correct. a featherweight power supply. Yeah, well, when we built it, we wanted to make sure it was solid. We put a good case on it, and I feel gamers are really going to love that. Now, we know the case makes up some of that weight, but let's talk about what's inside. Glad you asked my favorite part. So, we are running NVIDIA GeForce GTX graphics cards. You have the 970 and the 980. All right, then we also have the 6700 and the 6700K from Intel 6th Gen Skylake processors. Oh, that's their top of the line processor. Correct, the 6700K is running at 4.0 gigahertz and can overclock. We're running eight gig DDR4 and then you also have a version of going 16 gig DDR4. And it's upgradable to? 64 gigs. We are running dual hard drives. You have the option of getting a two terabyte mechanical and then the solid state you're going from a 120 or a 256. If I want to add another video card, and run it in SLI. Can I do it with this rig? Absolutely. You definitely can run SLI on this rig. That's what I want to hear. Um, I think every gamer wants to hear that too. All right, now I want to talk about this keyboard and mouse that you've brought along. These are sold separately? Uh, yes, they are, but they come with the Y900. Oh, they're included? Correct. Now, is that really a good idea for gamers that it, they tend to be particular? It's a fantastic idea, and I'll tell you why. We designed them for gamers. You have a mechanical keyboard, backlit red, double dim function, programmable macro keys. Then when it comes to the gaming mouse, not a normal two button, three button, we wanted to make sure the gamer has a function for everything they want. Eight button programmable mouse as well. And to match it all together, as you can tell, they're all branded with the Lenovo Y series gaming. Gamers like to match. We all like our own branding, our own theme. So we wanted to make sure everything could flow nicely. Let me ask you a very important question. Can you put weights in that mouse to adjust it to customize the need of the gamer. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you saw that when we were setting everything up. But yes, it does come with weights, so the gamer can actually adjust the weight of the mouse and feel how they like the feel of it sliding on their mouse pad. 
All right, I love that they didn't just throw a cheap keyboard and mouse in. You actually went with a real gaming quality keyboard and mouse. Well, Phil, if you're going to buy a real gaming rig, you deserve some real gaming keyboard and mouse peripherals with it. It just sounds like a great all-in-one solution for somebody who, look, I talk to a lot of people that say, I don't want to know how to fix my car. I just want to know where the gas goes, right? Exactly. So there's gamers, they don't want to build their own rig. They don't want to have to go shopping for all these different thousands of options. Correct. You get something called parallelization through analyzation. Where there's <laughs> just too many choices. But you don't want to have just something you're going to get made fun of or, or isn't going to do the job or it's going to break because it's not up to the abuse that it's going to take in gaming, right? Yes, and, exactly. And so these, these really look like top quality gaming components here. And that was really our objective for it. You know, talk is cheap. So how does this thing really perform? Well, as I mentioned earlier, I ran some benchmarks on it and it actually performed very respectfully. Here are the results. Thanks again to Eric and Lenovo for joining us in studio today and introducing us to their new line of Idea Center Y900 gaming desktops. And be sure to stay tuned as we cover more from Lenovo's latest in desktop and mobile computing. Please remember to click like and subscribe. And for more great content, be sure and check out our new video shopping platform at newegg.tv. I'm Kerry Holzman, and I'll see you next time.